What's up now? Rose go back and give another video and I check it out. Boosie. Boosie had an incident. Almost had an incident at the gas station, people. He's out there pumping his gas. What car is he putting his gas in? His damn daughter car. Man, sit. He is really not trying to get his car back. He shouldn't have took it in the first damn place. That shit crazy as hell. So, no matter how I feel about Boosie, if you've been watching my channel, you know I don't... I dislike Boosie's ways. I won't say I hate him. I dislike his ways. And no matter how I feel about Boosie, uh, uh, it's very important for a, a father and a daughter to have a, a good relationship. So, no matter if they, their parent, you know, the parents are not together. So, I, I do hope truly, you know, that they get that corrected. But, I just leave that at that, cause no matter, like I said, no matter how I feel about Boosie, you know what I'm saying, his daughter ain't got shit to do with why I dislike her daddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep that a G, all right? So uh, he's getting gas, and the police is out there, I guess, posted up. He feels like, see, Boosie getting paranoid. He feels like the police is posted up for his ass. He said, man, he better be getting some gas too. He better be, and you know he's videotaping. He's like, he better be getting some gas, cause if he ain't getting no gas, I'm gonna sue his ass. He try to pull me over. All right, cool. See, the thing, I think Boosie is uh, not understanding his, his position these days in life. You are under surveillance. That's what that looked like to me. You're under surveillance, Boosie. They ain't got to post up and do shit. They know your every move right about not today. Huh? You under surveillance. That's what I think. You feel me? Um, yeah, so he blames it on the devil. He said, oh, the devil busy. The devil busy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he is. And you one of them. Huh? You one of them, Boosie. But now you playing with the real devil. That can actually lock your ass up. Alright? That type of devil. Um, yeah, so Boosie's out here being paranoid, people. Uh-huh, he being paranoid. That's a little update on Boosie. His ass is out here being paranoid. He feel like the police is targeting him. No, they got you under surveillance. That's what I think. They are looking at you. You know what I'm saying? They looking at you, Boosie. And they watching your every damn move. I, I hope he understands that. Now, when he was in the car, he was looking like, man, you know, sad. Like, man, they always messing with me. No, no, that ain't what it is, Boosie. Now, I, I'm going to keep telling your ass, it's your time. This is your time. All right? And your time is just a ticking. We all see that shit. It's like he don't see that shit. <laughs> he don't want to see that shit. I understand. Now, all this going to the juvenile, speaking to him, you know, kudos to you. And and, and, and all this other stuff you doing, you know what I'm saying? Um, That's not going to make up for what's going on in your life right now and anger management classes to me it don't matter if the laws are saying for him to do that you know you got to go to anger management classes because that's what it kind of sounds like i had somebody in comments that said that you know it do kind of sound like that you know talking to the juveniles you know uh you know trying to do good things but where were you at before this we never heard of you going to talk to no damn uh juveniles until it was a time before this when Tootie Raw got locked up. And he took Tootie Raw with him to go talk to people and whatnot. Right? Mm hmm. But if you notice, it only happens when something happens big in Boosie life. Like fighting a damn gun charge. Uh, uh, your son got caught with a gun and, you know what I'm saying, trying to fight that. You know what I'm saying, trying to make that better. Like, no, my baby ain't never hurt nobody, but he still got smoked at baby's party. Mm hmm Yeah. Remember that song? Yeah. So, Boosie's out here being paranoid, people. That's the update on Boosie. He at the gas station. In his daughter's car. <laughs> they should have pulled his ass over anyway. That's it. They should have pulled his ass over and made him get that damn car back. That's that, that what they should have did. That's what they should have did. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, so we know that the car is not bright pink anymore, but like the wheel trimming is pink and some places on the car is still pink. So he said he going to change that because somebody walked up to him and was like, are you going to leave it pink? And he was like, no, I'm going to change that and make it baby blue. I don't know if he was talking about the whole damn car because he says like most of his cars are baby blue. So he might switch it up. See, that's, see, see, see how he runs his damn mouth. Now they know if that, if they don't never see you in that car with the pink on there. Huh? And it's a baby blue car. Hint, hint. And if it's a baby blue car, rest in peace to Duke the Jeweler. 093 from Chicago, fool. And if it's a baby blue car, he probably in that joint. He probably in that joint. Huh? So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this here. Boots is up here being paranoid. No, boy, they got you under surveillance. That's it.